Yeah, this is Dave from Cheapbooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the T-32. It's an American Tier 8 heavy tank. And the map is Overlord, which is based on the Normandy invasion. I'm not sure what that was, but that guy obviously hit something. I wonder if it was uh, these boxes here. Nope. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I am going to play in this position. My tank is fairly strong, which means I can pretty much go wherever I want. But I get battles over here, which is why I'm coming over here. One enemy artillery unit. That's too bad. Gotta go back to reload. Nice, so that's 5% of what I need to complete my mission. Got to keep on moving because of that enemy artillery. I'm gonna get out of here. This guy is being an asshole. I mean, he does obviously doesn't know how to play. So I'm gonna leave him alone. You know, there's enough room for two of us over there. Ready to fire. Oh, what the hell was that? Completely missed that shot. Like, this guy just cannot leave me alone. Ready to fire. Penetration. Thank God he died. Enemy armor is damaged. Target unlocked. Enemy armor is destroyed. Obviously he was... He was a more important target, so I switched targets. That AMX 5100 is a lot more damaging. I couldn't hit him. Permission to engage. We didn't even scratch them. Putting my better armor in the front. Penetration. Track hit. Enemy armor is damaged. I'm gonna angle it this time. Okay, so that was a, r a risky little game. Um, but I like playing battles like that. I killed two tanks. I had a lot of uh, fighting going on. It would have been nice if that, s that tank, the Centurion, wasn't such a terrible player. Um, I mean, it was obvious that he was preventing me from escaping. And uh, he doesn't know how to reverse. When you reverse... If you know that there's a tank next to you, you should check to see that he's there. It's like I said, there's room for everybody. And I'm sure that when I lined up, I lined up in such a way that I wasn't blocking him.
So obviously this is another T-32 from another player. Got a nice shot. Crazy and fun Sam. It looks like he just got two kills. Got two kills in a row. It looks like the GW Panther is complaining about someone's use of the premium rounds. They, I think they're called uh, composite rounds. Uh, armor piercing rounds are the standard rounds. That's weird. The timer fit perfectly into that little red box. Oh, he, I, I guess he's resetting the cap right now. Yeah, he's definitely resetting it. He got he knocked that guy off the cap. We've only got one guy on the cap, and I'm reminding him to stay on the cap and don't do anything stupid. KV5's a difficult uh a difficult tank. So it's not going to be easy to take him out. They can definitely do it. I would do it from close range. Ah, uh, it's too bad he missed that shot. Oh, but he did get the uh, top gun. So there you have it, the Supreme T-32. <laughs> now, I'm sure I did not get my uh, mission completed. But I got 7,000. That's pretty good. It's not the highest I've gotten this weekend. I got number two for the team. Nine penetrations. Um, I did 4,500. I did about 50 to 60 percent of what I needed to complete my mission. So I haven't completed it yet. Let's get into the Black Prince. Excuse me. I'm going to send my crew back to the barracks. I'm going to go to the Black Prince. And I'm going to load up the crew. Now, the Black Prince, you know, it's a great tank and everything, but he's unlikely to complete the mission. Um, for the sheer matter of fact that he's a Tier 7 tank. And it goes by total damage. And he's just not going to be able to do it. I'd have to kill probably 8 tanks in order to complete the mission. Okay, Tundra. Being up at the top is probably the best position to be in. The top of that hill. So I'm going to head towards that hill. <laughs> 